Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well and welcome to a new episode of my games devlog. Before we begin, I just want to take a minute and say thank you to all of you for the amazing support that you've been showing under the previous episode, so thank you. This said, it's your boy Peter speaking and without any further ado, let's get right into the episode. Okay, so in the previous episode I've shown you some footage of what I've already got going on with the game and since the short adventure is gonna be set in a lush and tranquil valley, my first focus was coming up with a general direction for the game's art style in order to deliver this feeling. Since last time I've been doing and redoing some more modeling in order to get a sense of how non-natural elements should look like, but I'm not sure what we're quite there yet. By the way, I'm also preparing a university exam for next week, so this is why the videos are a bit shorter than usual lately. Anyway, today I want to showcase how I handle the camera system in the game. Since I want the game to bring a chill experience to the player, I decided to take away direct control of the camera and let them focus more on themselves and their surroundings. This brought up a new issue though. How am I gonna guarantee that the player always sees what is there to be seen? Originally I came up with a dolly track based camera system. Basically I would have to define a path for the camera to travel along and it would follow the player always looking at them staying on this path. Something like this would probably work better on some more restricted environment and despite it had quite a success on Twitter, where I showed it early on in development, that's where a problem came up. Since the movement is always applied based on the input and relative to the camera's view direction, the system would go crazy whenever the camera found itself directly on top of the player. And you can see what I mean by that. I had to change my implementation. The new system I came up with, which is the one I'm currently using and that I don't think I will be needing to change anytime soon, is an area-based camera system. All I have to do is define some volumes, each with its own camera assigned, and when the player enters such volumes, the system will automatically pick the right camera. The cool thing is that using Cinemachine's virtual cameras, I can automatically have smooth transition between each and every camera upon switching the one I use, and on top of that, if I want an area to have a dolly track system like the first one I thought about, I can easily implement it. If you're curious about how I did it in the code, the system relies on two main components. Singleton Camera Manager that keeps track of the, all the virtual cameras in the scene and the Camera Area component that, when triggered by a box collider, will tell the manager which camera to enable and so to disable all of the others. That was it, thank you for watching, let me know what you think about it and if you have any ideas or thoughts, feel free to leave them in a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate if you maybe considered subscribing or leaving a like and that would really help me out a lot, but I love you either way. <laughs> this said, I've been Pizza and in case you decide to stick around, see you next time.